Welcome to I Love Stocks. I'm going to talk about three tickers that I was watching today. One of them was GME. The other one was VVI, CCIV, excuse me, CCIV and JMIA. So we're just going to go ahead and just go right into the charts. If you watched my last video on GME, called the perfect pullback on it. So it could pull back to around this 98 92 area and that's where we went this morning we had a double bottom down here also so that means we could be going a little bit lower on this baby but uh there's probably a lot of acceleration it's out of the trade right now i called it 98 92 from up in here right when it was around oh i forgot where it was at but she definitely pulled back in there and then i took the trade took the put I held it overnight and got out of the put and then I just didn't play with it much anymore after that but we did have a nice little reversal play that was called by one of the gentlemen in the room uh Cayman mentioned this little reversal right here and he ran it all the way up there and then I said it was going to pull back to that 118 and that's what she did and now we've closed down here at 90 bucks and we're after hours we are at let me see where we are here after hours I can't be watching that thing when it's way down there. 89, 89 bucks. That's where we're sitting right now. So where's this thing going to go? Let's go ahead and look at a little bit farther out chart here. Let's look at the 10-day uh, because that's about all we've had on this 10-day. Oh, man, we're getting down here to where it's starting to get presentable again. Let's go to the 20-day. That's a little bit better. We had a period of consolidation right down here, right around the 40. Oh, I'm thinking. I'm going to lower it just a little bit more. Find a little place in here that's an equilibrium. We'll stick with that 42.10. Ah. Let me see. Right there at, well, we're just going to put it 4209. You know what I mean. 4210, 4209. Then the other one's going to be right here. This is going to be solid right here at 70, 7068. I think that's where we're going to pull back to. And if that doesn't hold, we can drop down a little bit farther down to this beginning of this pattern right here at 5459. But I don't see it acting too crazy from here on out i think a lot of the bulbs is going to once it settles and goes sideways for a couple of days i think we can have a retracement back up to resistance levels but for right now we're going to stick with the 70 68 54 59 and this 4209 area for a strong buy if we see 4209 if not she can retrace back up find a little bit of resistance right here at this 11716 area right in here so that's going to be like your hard resistance and we're going to change that to a red line then i'm going to recall this play out to you so we got three support levels we have a low support at 4209 we have the second one here at 5459 and that first one here at 7068 with the resistance to break is going to be this 9892 to 11716 and that's going to be my call on GME. Pull back in the morning and then a retracement back up to these resistance levels. Wherever she stops, she will come back up. But not none of this mumble jumble. This was just like a, a lesson here. That stock ain't worth every bit of 40 bucks either. But that's where I think it's going to pull back to. And that's another 50% retracement off this $88 that we just had. So the next one we're going to talk about, let me pull this up. That was that was uh, GameStop. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be VVI, I mean CCIV. So let's take a look at it right now. I called a little pullback after we call, I called out the high, the CCIV. I said we're going to have a double top at 35 bucks. We hit 35.18, and now we've pulled back to what I had as support level at 31.90. As you can see on the daily one minute, when I pull this chart up, in fact, I might clear clean this up, but we'll see here. It's about time I start doing it. 
We did pull back right to that into close, that little support area right down here, just a little bit above 90 cents, probably about a penny or two. And now she's starting to create a little flag. This is a pennant flag that we've had right here. I think she can pull back again. And I'm going to get in this trade tomorrow. If it gets any lower than that 30 bucks, that's where I'm going to be taking the trade. But I've got three support levels here. I've got that 31.89, 30.90, and then that 29.81 for a reversal back up. And every time we break, bust down below one of these support levels, and they become new resistance levels. So the pivot point in this channel right here is right around 32.80, somewhere right around there, 32.82, with a triple top or a double top high of 35 bucks. Now I saw I didn't see the weakness, so I just had a target for 35, and once I hit it, I was out. And I could have got back in the trade and scalped it for a couple hundred bucks when it come back down to this 3282 area. And I decided just go ahead and take my time, let it go ahead and consolidate down. And maybe we get back in at 3192 or that 3090 tomorrow or that 2981. That's what needs to hold. That's going to be your solid support at 2981. Then we'll try to break that double top up here at 35 bucks. And that's going to be CCIV. And then the next one we're going to be talking about is going to be, what was that next one? Uh, Jamie, well, let me see here. Where am I? Next one's JMIA. I should have known that. So let's get to looking at it real fast. This one here I did a previous video on, and if you watched it, good for you. Because it did pull back. Well, it actually did exactly what I said it was going to do. I said we were going to have a nice little breakout. If we can break past these resistance levels of 53.54. We did do that. She ended up coming up here to around, and we broke that 65.50. And then we had 67.67 high. I thought we were going to hit 70 today. But then she decided to go ahead and pull on back. This is JMIA. Now in the video I called a low support down here at 59.45 and 60.11 and I named out these other resistance levels, support levels right in here. So we did hit that 61.14 and we could start to reverse back up but I'm going to keep these open down here just in case we do have another pullback. Uh, first support level is going to be right down here at 59.45 to 60.11 and then that second one is going to be probably oh. I'm thinking right in here at 58, 53, 50, then we got 58, and then we got 56, 94, and that's going to be your strong buy down here if it does get down there. If not, we could start to retrace back up and hit these new highs again, but keep this in mind at 59, 45, and 60, 11 for a support to hold. I like to see it keep in this channel and then start to retrace back up. If not, and we pull back below this 59.45. Keep an eye on that tape and that volume bar and that level two. And also keep an eye on the news for what direction. But I do believe this is going to be a $100 ticker by the end of the year or sooner. And I'm back that with Miss Vegas. 75 to 100 is going to be my targets on JMIA. But every time it pulls back is a time to get into the trade. And that's going to be it for the market report. I'm bullish on all three of these. I just like to get in at support and sell at resistance. So keep that in mind when you're trading. Find your own plan. Take your own plan. Try not to follow other people's trades. Just use them other people's uh, tickers as ideas. But you need to figure out a plan to get in and out of your own trades. And this is our website here. You can hit this little Twitter bird. It'll take you straight to our Twitter account, Miss Vegas. The uh, Money Queen is going to be putting alerts in here on a daily basis. We also have on our website our stock twits. I'm just wanting to get this thing past up to 3,200. I'm getting followers every day. I think I'm better right around the corner. So if you're watching this video, hit that follow button there on that icon. Miss Vegas has hers in here too. She's up to 8,100. Let's see if we can get some more up on her. And that's about it with I Love Stocks. Please subscribe and ring that bell for future updates. And that's it. 
have a great day and see you tomorrow. The tickers we talked about today are going to be GME, uh, CCIV, and JMIA. I love stocks.